Have you also switched from the massive multi-display monitor setup to editing only on your laptop screen? Things feel tiny yet again? Isn't it just frustrating that software isn't built with laptop size screens in mind? Useless bars on top and bottom, half of which you can't scale or deactivate. I found one method to optimize the UI of Premiere and get as much as 60% more space and I thought I couldn't be the only one who would die for some extra real estate. So I decided to show you how. Sure, you could simply resize the preview panel aka the program monitor but that's at the cost of reducing other panels unbearably so to keep things fair let's measure the preview size while maintaining the timeline with one video and one audio track fully visible first thing that you want to do is to hide the taskbar automatically trust me on this one it takes a day to get used to it you can do this by right-clicking on the taskbar, selecting taskbar settings and enabling automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode or whatever Windows decides to call this in future updates. With the taskbar hidden, proceed to removing the workspaces panel. Then right-click on the title of the program monitor and select undock panel. Now, drag and drop any remaining panels that you usually use into that undocked window and simply close all the remaining panels that you don't use. Then resize that undocked window to almost the size of your screen and arrange the widths and heights of your panels as you please. Finally, the most important step, full screen that undocked panel by pressing Ctrl and backslash twice. Tweak the sizes of your panels one last time to get them look as you like. Once you do that, there is one last step that I like to add to really max out that image. Underneath the preview are a number of controls that I never use. Therefore, I suggest opening the program monitor settings by clicking on the little wrench icon and unchecking the show transport controls. Bam! That's as big as it gets. You can easily access the menus at the top of the screen by pressing the control and backslash again to exit the full screen. If you're thinking that this may become tedious, I promise to you, it doesn't. I do this maybe once a week and it undeniably isn't a drawback when compared to the enormous gains this method brings. Frankly, the preview size is just so much larger, it occupies more than half of your screen size, while still giving you an ability to use the timeline and the other panels. I went an extra mile to prove the gains of this method and so I measured the heights of the original preview and the maximized one and would you believe it's 60% larger than before. And all this for free. You dropped useless space taking features that you most likely never even used when editing. It's dead simple. You may cheer now. Oh, and come back later, I'll show you a cool trick I learned in After Effects too. Okay, thanks, bye.